Hello guys from my studio Copelli. Let's go, come here. Come here. Look this beautiful setup. Let me finish up the pizza. Little bit of honey in the hot spicy pepperoni. On top, voila, voila. Guys, let me show you really quick. That's the perfect pizza made with uh, overproof dough. Not only overproof. Oh, 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 we got sticky dough. Don't worry about it. Maestro Vito Copelli got you covered. Here is the five tips to make the best Neapolitan pizza at your business, at your house, how you want to see it, you see it. This is the dough and today here is how to make the perfect Neapolitan pizza with the five tips. So make sure you watch until the end because this is super instructional. Go ahead, share what are you waiting for. Share and subscribe. Hey, today is uh, super hot, super humid here in Italy. I'm already sweating, it's hot. But we have uh, one really big issue. The dough, it's overproof and catering will be at uh, 7 p.m. Right now it's about uh, 5 p.m. I will teach you right now when we get there to the location. The first technical tip, how to save the dough. Because no dough, no party. No party, no money. So let's go. Here we go. All right. Open the gate. Oh my God. Two hours. Yes. We definitely need to remake the balls. long service it's very important to make two different dough so one with more salt one with less salt so less salt will grow faster more salt will grow slow you can see the difference so this one is okay to stay like it's still the first thing to do here is to find the most cold room but this one definitely I'm gonna show you that right now what to do but we can save it so let me show you what to do to be able to save this dough really important we need flour a lot of flour this step is really critical because the dough is really sticky. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put a little bit of flour on top, a little bit on the counter where you're gonna work the dough. And now let's get the dough. Put the dough upside down. This is how you reball the dough. So I'm gonna show you one and then we do it really quick, really fast, all of them. So this is how we do it. So we close it and basically we're gonna remake the ball gentle. We don't wanna make it really, really tight. We're gonna go ahead and make it gentle. Otherwise, if you make it really tight, you're gonna risk to do, to not be able to stretch it again. So we're gonna get it and put it back here, like that. So again, one more time, right there. Tum, 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 tum. Voila, gentle, you close it and voila, that's the ball. Here we go, last one, close it, voila. So at this point that we finish the dough, again, we're gonna put a little bit of flour on top. So this uh, thing of uh, reballing will change the hydration. This one was 75%. From 75, probably it's gonna become to 70. This one, it's perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you the second technical tip or issue. So let's go ahead and let's find the spot. Number two is uh, about the oven. Every time uh, you start the service, you need to fire up the oven and bring the oven to temperature. The mistake is uh, not having the oven ready while you are going to open the pizza place or you're starting the service. Let's start the pizza oven in the proper way. So I'm gonna make it super easy for you. You need this, let's fire up. And then you keep a few pieces of wood on the side right there. One and two. Voila. So right now the oven is going temperature. We're gonna put the door like a little bit uh, rayer. This way we save wood and the oven goes in temperature really fast. At this point, we're gonna wait about one hour to two hours to do the oven to have the nice and pressure. To be able to cook a Neapolitan pizza, you need to have uh, the pressure in the oven. Otherwise you're not gonna be able to cook the pizza in the home oven. So let's go ahead and uh, let's see the number three. Number three, the ingredients, guys. Of course, once you start everything, you need to have uh, all the ingredients ready. So we got the fresh mozzarella cut, the fresh basil, which is uh, with a little bit of wet on top. We got rapini, roasted bacon, uh, spicy salami, roasted mushroom, and then uh, nice roasted uh, zucchini. Of course, the tomato sauce. 
the tomato sauce. Always to have uh, something uh, uh, reserved. Like if you forget something, always keep inside your restaurant on the truck a backup. In this case, I completely forgot about the tomato sauce. So let's go ahead, uh, let's uh, cook the sausage. Always I like to par-bake almost everything. Always uh, I was saying that the pizza, Neapolitan style, cooks only in a minute or 90 seconds. It's important to par-bake everything. So this is the sausage, I'm gonna go ahead and Part baking in the oven. Now let's go ahead and let's uh, prepare the tomato sauce really quick. Dump the tomato sauce. So you need to have uh, as much that you need for uh, making the pizza. So in this case, we are preparing 50 pizzas. So, and then we're gonna use uh, a pinch of salt. Here we go. A handful of uh, fresh base, so break it. And uh, here we go, the tomato sauce, it's ready. Let's recap this. Ingredients needs to be ready before the service starts. Otherwise, why? Because, let's say you have uh, 10, 15 pizzas or 10 pizzas, even one pizza. You stretch, boom, 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 and then you need the tomato sauce. Where is the tomato sauce? You're going there, you're going to prepare the tomato sauce, and the pizza stacks on the table, and uh, that's how you waste one pizza. Never waste the pizza. Pizza is a serious thing. Pizza is very important, guys. So let's go ahead and see you at the number four. So I'm going to show you how to properly put the ingredients on a pizza. Looks like it's something easy to do, but in Neapolitan pizza, it needs to be in a certain way. Come with me and then let me show you number four. Look at the dough. It's insane. Do, 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 do. 75%. Flour. Flour, cut, 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 take a look how I take off. You have to hold it gently because this is really soft. Flour, boom. You wanna keep the air on the cross. So flame in the oven, it's ready. Let's go ahead and let's stretch the pizza. I wanna show you how to properly put the ingredients on a pizza. This is how we stretch. We press all the air to the cross. We wanna keep the air in the cross. So gently, look at this. Gently, you press. If the dough is super soft, you have to be careful and soft. Press, press, press. I'm just pressing the air in the center. I'm pushing it to the cross. Voila, take off everything and then put it down. That's how you stretch. Voila, keep it small right now. And then we have to put uh, all the toppings under the cheese. Let's go ahead and let's put the uh, sausage. We break the sausage. I'll tell you right now why we put uh, all the toppings under and why is it so important. Little bit of basil. Nice rapini from uh, Naples. And then fresh mozzarella on top. Voila. Right now, we put all the toppings under the cheese. Pay attention, this is a really big secret. We add the Parmesan cheese on top of everything because Parmesan cheese will melt it and blend everything together and make all the flavor unique and the only one. Let's go ahead, let's put it in, uh, on top of the peel, flour, all the, and then boom. Now pay attention, once you put all the toppings, you wanna fix everything, it needs to be nice and uh, uniform. So let's go ahead and let's cook it. Let's wait a few seconds and the pizza will be ready. With this pizza, I wanna show you the tip number one. You remember the dough? In this video, you can see by reballing the dough, how we save the crust, how we save the dough. Now, this is the proof that the pizza is perfect. Well, you need, you need to see this and tell me if it's perfect. Guys, we are about to eat 1 million subscribers. Go ahead, please, share with three friends. It's totally free to share, and then you help me reach this 1 million subscribers. So the pizza is about to be ready. One, two, three, voila. Boom, guys, the pizza, it's lovely, ready. Most importantly, we have to check if it's soft and crunchy. Shh. Yeah, there we go. See, you can see better now. Look at this, with the ingredients. They were under the cheese with the Parmesan cheese blend all together and this is the perfection of pizza. Can't wait to show you the number five because it's also very useful and very technical and very important to use. Let's cut this and give it to the customers. Number five and the last one, guys. Thank you so much if you're still at this point and thank you so much for the support. So this is uh, about uh, the stretch. Once you have this dough, the structure of the gluten at this point is very hard and very easy to break. So it's very important to stretch the pizza this way. So take it out from the box very carefully. Use a lot of flour. Here we go, boom. Take it out and put it directly on top of the flour. 
This is how you stretch. Put a little bit of flour on the bottom. Take a look. Top on top, bottom on the bottom. Keep the pizza small. Don't do too much like that. Otherwise, you're gonna stress the pizza. So the less you touch the pizza, the better will be the crust. The goal is just press the most you can. Press, no stretch. No stretch, press. So you press gently, like that, and then carefully, open your hand, take off the flour and put it back down there. Keep pressing, no stretching. At this point, you can do two things. Very gentle, take off the flour, make a turn your hands and make a little bit bigger, a little bit, not too big. You wanna have a eight inches pizza. That's it, that's a super small. Watch what we're gonna do. I'm gonna make a classic, uh, actually, cheese with uh, pepperoni, Italian pepperoni. Put the tomato sauce, you wanna be super fast once you put the tomato sauce. Otherwise, the tomato sauce will melt the dough because it's super weak. Basil, I like to put the, the cheese under in this case because uh, I like the pepperoni to be crispy. So let's go ahead and let's cover up the pizza with uh, salame, spicy, and then Parmesan cheese on top. Make sure everything is clean. With the peel, put a little bit of flour gently, put the flour under, under, under. That's why you need the, the peel with the holes. Under, 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 and then one shot. Or you hold it and then you put the peel under. You don't want to put the pizza on top. Otherwise, you're going to break the pizza. You're going to make a mess. So put your finger under the pizza and you make the pizza a little bit larger. You want to go little by little. Otherwise, you don't want to break the pizza. Voila. Then that's it. Don't touch anymore the size of the peel. Let's go ahead and let's cook it. Let me show you how the pizza looks like when it's cooked. Three, two, one. The pizza, it's lovely, ready. Look at this, perfection. So let me explain to you. Look at this, it's soft and crunchy. We have air. Of course, guys, with this dough that is uh, about to collapse or it's overproof, it's really hard to have a uniform pizza. You didn't make a mistake because you put too much salt or less salt or too much yeast. It's just a problem of temperatures. After this, guys, thank you so much for watching. Go ahead, smash the like, subscribe, and most importantly, share to reach these 1 million subscribers. Thank you for my service, Yoko Melli, and sorry for my voice, but <laughs> too much art, too much air conditioning, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.